All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Kruger Show with a little 49er video. Now check out Pig and a Pickle. Two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin, Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Well, pro football focus, I think, is pretty pretty good football uh, organization as it comes as it as they break down news and and rankings. Um, I don't always agree. Sometimes their rankings on offensive linemen seem a little skew. I don't take everything they put out as gospel, but I really kind of like their uh, power rankings because it's a combination post-draft power rankings. It's a combination of uh, six. It's a combination of personnel and record. And I think you do have to factor in personnel when you're talking about power rankings, because that's really talking about how good a particular team is. Um, and, and, and I think that they're, they're real, they're current with their personnel evaluation. And I really thought their, their power rankings were pretty spot on. And let's take a look at the way they have it. They have it one through 10 Kansas city. Number one, the Eagles, number two, the Niners, number three, the Bengals, number four, Buffalo, five, the Jets, six, Dallas, seven, Chargers, eight, Browns, nine, and Baltimore, 10. Now, I thought the Browns, that was an interesting part there, but a lot of people like the Browns personnel. But let's take a look at some of these teams. Let's start with Kansas City for a second as the number one team. How do you not have Kansas City as the number one team? Right. I mean, Brett Veach has done an incredible job there as the general manager. You've got Andy Reid. You've got the number one quarterback in football. They're coming off a Super Bowl win. They got a young star running back in Isaiah Pacheco. They got maybe one of the best tight ends going in Travis Kelsey. Uh, they got a really good interior offensive line left to right with Joe, Joe Thune, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith. Um, you've got some nice receivers, even though it's a little bit of a question mark area with Kadarius, Tony, Marquez, Valdez, Scantling, Sky Moore. Um, and you've got Chris Jones on the front of your defense. Carl Loftus is a young player on their D line. They brought in Charles Amenehu. They've got a lot of speed at linebacker and Willie Gay and Nick Bolton. Those guys are as fast as they get. And they got a really good secondary. I mean, Trent McDuffie's a great talent. First round pick. Um, you know, Justin Reed, I thought was a phenomenal addition from the Texans. They Legarius Sneed is as good a corner as you're going to find. I think fourth round pick, uh, they got a great kicker in Butker. I mean, it's a good football team. This is a good football team top to bottom. I'm not saying that they don't, they don't have any issues, but saying the chiefs are the number one team in football is not controversial. Now they've got the Eagles as number two. And if you listen to the ESPN draft coverage, they could not agree more. My God, they were, they love the Eagles top to bottom. Um, just listening to these guys talk about the Eagles. I mean, you, the Eagles are far and away in their mind, the best team in the NFC. Everybody else is a distant second. So let's take a close look at the Eagles. I, I mean, I can see why people really love the Eagles. I mean, come on. Jalen Hurts had a tremendous year. Look how deep their backfield is. DeAndre Swift, Kenneth Gainwell, Rashad Penny, Boston Scott, Trey Sermon. It's a ton of backs. Dallas Goddard's their tight end. They're, they don't have a lot of great depth there, but they got Goddard. They got a great offensive line. It's good offensive line as, as there is. Lane Johnson, Kelsey, Dickerson. They got a new right guard, either Tyler Steen, the rookie, or Cam Jurgens, but still they're loaded. And then A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, two number one receivers. Um, they add Jalen Carter in for, they plug him in for Hargrave. They're not great at linebacker. The secondary lost CJ Gardner Johnson, but they did add Sidney Brown and Kaylee Ringo, Nolan Smith and Jalen Carter up front. So, I mean, I would agree. I would agree. The Eagles are the, the next team in the power rankings. Then you get the 49ers third. And I think this is, I think this is accurate. I think the 49ers, um, they may be better than the Eagles, but Brock Purdy's got to stay, show that he's healthy. And there's a lot of projection with this roster with a lot of young players. Um, but the 49ers are a star studded team with major weapons, a top tier left tackle, um, deep backfield, you know, real strong defense. They've got a new coordinator on defense 
and they've got some new new you know new players on their front line and in the secondary. But I think the 49ers are indeed the third best team in the NFL talent wise. Then they go to the Bengals. And I, I think that, you know, the Bengals are an interesting team that, that they would be in front of Buffalo here. But they've got the the, you know, the one thing about the Bengals is the guys who handle the football. Uh, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, um, Ch- Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, uh, Irv Smith. I mean, they've got some really, really outstanding skill position guys. And that to me kind of compensates for a really mediocre offensive line. Um, they got two really outstanding ends in, in Trey Hendrickson and Sam Hubbard on their defense. Um, and they've got some nice players in the secondary, Mike Hilton, Britt Taylor or Cam, Britt, Cam Taylor, Britt, I should say, um, Nick Scott. Um, they've got some nice players. They just added Jordan battle from Alabama and DJ Turner from Michigan. They got a Wuzie. So, I mean, their secondary has got some, you know, some good players in it for sure. They've got some nice edge rushers. DJ Reader's an absolute monster inside at defensive tackle. And they've got great skill position guys. Their big question is the offensive line. So that's that's the Bengals. But I, I the only difference, the only thing I would say is maybe I would take Buffalo and put Buffalo over the Bengals. Um, I think Buffalo is a little bit better than the Bengals, but a lot of people are just fact, you know, leaning on the way the playoffs went a year ago, but Buffalo still has Diggs and Gabe Davis, um, at receiver Khalil Shakir is going to be better. The Boise state kid in year two, um, Buffalo, I think still has a real strong offensive line. Josh Allen's a stud James cook. The one thing is they don't have the great running back. They got Latavius Murray, Damian Harris, James cook, Naheem Hines. They don't have a they don't have the star back. Um, and Buffalo, you know, Ed Oliver, Von Miller. I mean, that's a great combo up front. And then their their back end, I think, is outstanding. You know, their nickel, Teron Johnson, uh, Kair Elam, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White's the best, as good as any corner in pro football. So I think the the Bills secondary, if healthy, and I think the Bills defense overall is better than better than uh than Cincinnati, but a lot of people love Joe Burrow. So that's why I think pro football focus has Bengals four, Buffalo five. I'd have Buffalo four, Bengals five. But then it's interesting. This the last half of the top 10 is pretty interesting. You've got the Jets at six. The Jets have Aaron Rodgers and a lot of talent. I mean, they really do. Dallas has a lot of talent. Uh, and Dak Prescott, Chargers, Tom Telesco has built that roster up tremendously. Cleveland with Deshaun Watson and, you know, all the blue chippers they have there. If you look at their personnel, they're outstanding. And the Ravens, you know, to me are just a few wide receivers away from being a top contender. So overall, um, I would say the, the pro football focus rankings are pretty spot on. They really are. I mean, I, I think the 49ers, you know, definitely to me, there's a there's a real a real cutoff. If I was doing this in tiers, I would have Kansas City, Philadelphia, and the 49ers in the top tier. That's the top tier. Then I would have Cincinnati and Buffalo in the second tier. Then I would have, but as you said, as I said before, I like Buffalo more than Cincinnati, but those two teams would be the second tier. The third tier, I think I'd have down as Ravens, Cowboys. The fourth tier would be Jets, Chargers, Browns. But I like the top 10. And I do agree these are the, the 10 best teams. But to me, there's a there's a cutoff between the 49ers and the Bengals and or the 49ers and the Bills, let's say, three and four. And then there's a cutoff between the Bill, the the Bengals at five, and uh, that next tier of teams with Baltimore um, and Dallas. And then I think there's a cutoff, and then Jets, Chargers, Browns are in that next tier. So, you know, what is the top tier of the NFL? In my mind, it's Kansas City, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the 49ers. And I think the Niners, um, they could be the best team but they need Brock Purdy to be healthy or Trey Lance to come of age. 
Um, and they need, they need, you know, Drake Jackson and it's to stay healthy and they need their young corners to step up. But the 49ers are definitely have the ability to compete with any team in football. And I think they're in that top tier, but I think pro football focus has it right. As far as, um, their top 10, they get the right 10 teams. And I think they get the Niners in the right spot as well. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being a proud sponsor of the Krug Show. Check them out in Emeryville or Corte Madera. And thanks to all of you for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.